How to Recover Deleted Photos from Android The question has troubled many users and the answer is definitely can yes. Actually, when you delete a photos from your Android phone, the deleted photo just disappears from your eyes, but still exists in somewhere of the phone memory. All you need is a tool that is capable of detecting the deleted photo and get it back. Disk Digger Photo Recovery is the exact tool that you need. Let's see that how to work recovery mode. Disk Digger for Android Disk Digger is now available as an app for Android devices. You can find it on the Google Play Store by searching for Disk Digger. Although Disk Digger does not require your device to be rooted, it is more likely to recover more photos and files if your device is rooted. Need help rooting your device? The app is compatible with any device, tablet or phone, that uses Android 2.2, for Oyo, or higher free or pro, which is right for me. The free version of Disk Digger can recover photos and videos only, recovering videos requires your device to be rooted. The pro version can recover other types of files besides photos and videos, and also allows uploading recovered files over FTP, again, recovering any types of files besides photos requires your device to be rooted. Starting the app using Disk Digger for Android is very simple. After launching the app, it will display two options, basic scan and full scan. The full scan functionality is available only on rooted devices, whereas the basic functionality is available regardless of whether your device is rooted. If your device is rooted, the app should allow you to select the memory partition to scan. Your device's internal memory usually appears as slash data, and the device's SD card usually appears as slash MNT slash SD card or something similar. If your device is not rooted, tap the Start Basic Photo Scan button to continue, and continue to the Scanning for Files section below. When you use the app on a rooted device, you may see a Super User Request window. Make sure to press Allow in order to grant Disk Digger root access. After you select the memory device to scan, you will select the types of files that you'd like to recover. For better performance, please select only the file types that you actually need. Scanning for Files when the app starts scanning for deleted files, you will see the main disk digger screen, which will start populating with recoverable files. You may tap on any of the files to select its checkbox, which will select it for recovery. You may also tap on the overflow menu, three dots, on each of the files, to see recovery options for each individual file. Filtering Files Pressing the Options button, gear icon will allow you to filter the recoverable files based on file size, and file type. If you want to impose a minimum size on the files shown, press the checkbox next to minimum file size, and enter the minimum number of bytes below. By default, a minimum size is enabled when recovering photos, to filter out most other, non-photo, images that may be on your device's memory, from browser cache, bitmaps from other apps, etc. Saving Files Disk Digger provides three different ways for you to save the recoverable files, save to an app, save to device, and FTP upload, each which are discussed below. To recover one or more files, tap the check mark next to the recoverable files you want to recover, then tap the recover button in the top toolbar. Saving to an app. The first and most recommended method allows you to send the recoverable files to another app on your device. For example, you can send the files to your email app, so that you could email the files to yourself. You can also send the files to a cloud storage app such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Your device will automatically let you select the app to which the files will be sent, saving locally. The second option allows you to save the recoverable files back to the local device, to the internal memory or SD card of the same device from which the files are being recovered. Saving on Android 5, Lollipop, and above. 
This will take you to the standard Android folder picker that you can use to select the folder into which the files will be saved. Saved. Unfortunately the standard picker can be a bit difficult to use for the first time. If you see an empty screen with an open from title like in the screenshots below, then follow these steps, swipe away the open from panel to the left. Tap the overflow menu, three dots, in the top right corner, and select show SD card or show internal memory. Tap the navigation menu, three lines in the top left corner, and you should now be able to pick the SD card or internal memory, and navigate to the exact location where you want to save the files. Notes. The app will likely recover files that haven't been deleted, in addition to files that have. Because of this, you may have to look through a large number of files before seeing the files you're looking for. This is something that is under continuing development, and will be improved in the future. If using the app with a non-rooted device, the app will likely recover lower resolution versions of your photos. This is a limitation that cannot be avoided. To recover the original full resolution photos, your device must be rooted. Enjoy! Of course, all